I know I should be investing in myself. You know you should also be investing in yourself. We have heard that a million times already. But are we really investing in ourselves? So instead of preaching to you about reasons why you should be investing in yourself, I felt it would be good for me to share with you how I invest in myself and how it has cost me over the period. So that you can also pick up a few lessons from me. Maybe you haven't realized how many things could be an investment. Maybe you don't know that investing in yourself should not cost you so much money like you think. Though it can be if you want it to be. Maybe you just need a few inspiration or suggestions just to keep you going. In this video, I'll be showing you how I invest in myself and how much it cost me exactly to do that. And just so you know, all this will be in USD as is the standard across the globe. So far as I'm concerned, this is a personal development channel because that's my favorite thing to talk about every time and ever. So I'm going to kick this off with ways that you can invest in your personal development. I think this sort of investments are always overlooked because they don't yield tangible results, at least not immediately. The benefits of this kind of investments can be hard to identify, but trust me, they are always there. The money and time I invest in my personal development makes me aware of exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and even what I want to do. It helps me to stick to good habits and stop bad ones. It helps me sort my life out and make better decisions. It helps me when I'm having a bad day or even when something doesn't go my way during the day. And it is so necessary. My first investment is listening to podcasts and this is a time investment. And I know you'll be asking why is listening to podcasts in my personal development? Because I get to sit in conversations that otherwise I would never have gotten the chance to sit in. Conversations between the world's most successful people and how they got to where they are today and the failures they had to go through to get to where they are. I get to be coached by the best life and success coaches in this world. I get to learn how to exactly train my mind to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. And all this is completely free. And I can do it anywhere in, in this world at any time. Be it on the train, in my car driving to work, uh, on the bus, traveling on a long journey. I can listen to podcasts just anywhere as long as I have an audio device. I have been obsessed with podcasts since 2014. And it's a, as a result of listening to one of these podcasts that I decided to start this channel. I heard stories about people doing it and what tools they used to do it. And I was encouraged and persuaded to do the same. And I did it. My favorite podcast ever is the Life Coach School podcast by Brooke Costello. And don't let the name put you off. It's just a podcast basically that teaches you about how to train your mind in this life, which is pretty a very good skill to have in this world. I also love listening to this podcast too. The Tony Robinson podcast, Ice Coffee Hour, Make It Happen with Jen Corrington, The School of Greatness with Lewis Holtz, Entrepreneur on Fire with John Lee. My second investment is books, and this can cost me about $14 a month, plus some of my time. Unsurprisingly, I absolutely love reading books. This is why I created a library in my living room, so that I can get to read as much as I want. But I find it hard carving out time in my busy schedule to read paperbacks or even reading the soft copies on my tablet. Yeah, I could make it happen. I definitely could. I know that. But between staring at the computer for like 8 to 10 hours a day, spending another 2 to 3 hours looking at the sc another screen again just for editing purposes, I find it hard just looking at another screen just to read. I know that sounds weird. Which leads me to my next investment audio books. If you are close to me, you've probably heard me talk about Audible. This is an app that allows me to listen to audiobooks and I'm really obsessed with it. Basically, I love audiobooks for the same reason I love podcasts. Portable wisdom. People spend years writing books, basically putting all their knowledge in a book. It is their best work and I get to pay for somebody to read these books to me basically anywhere I am. How amazing is that? I signed up for $14.95 in 2016 and I've been on it since then. That gets me one audio book per month or I can save the credit for a future month if I don't know what I want for that particular month. If you're interested in giving Audible a try, feel free to use the link in the description for a free 30-day trial. My third investment is waking up early. This is a time investment. Okay, this is kind of different. I invest in myself by waking up early. Obviously, there's no financial cost to this, 
but there's definitely a time cost. The time otherwise I could have been using to sleep. I don't sacrifice my sleeping time lightly. I'm not one of those who marry their bed, but if I could, I would sleep as much as I want. So why is waking up early an investment in myself? Because I can start by doing something for me, not for my employer, not for my friends, not for my family, something just for me. I wake up early so that I can have designated time just for me to do something for my own personal development. And it's so powerful. On the weekday, I wake up around between 4.30 to 5 because I need to get ready and get to work around 7 a.m. I am not saying you need to wake up that early. I know that's a, a very early time to wake up for most people, but it is me time. I usually spend my mornings with, reading with a cup of tea or working out, or sometimes I do both. And I always feel satisfied by the time I step into the office because I've already done something important just for me. If you're interested in setting up your own personal morning routine, check out my video on morning routines. My fourth investment is blogging and blogging. This has cost me about $800, at least over the last one year, and some amount of personal time. I've talked about this before. I think blogging and vlogging is one of the best personal development tools that's out there. Seriously. You think you are confident. You think you are ready to put yourself out there in the world. You think you know what you are all about. Start a channel or a blog and all that will be thrown in your face. I guarantee it. And it's basically a good thing. I have learned so much about myself just putting myself out there in the world. I've learned so much about myself by just putting my thoughts out there in the world. And I know I've evolved as a person because of it. Regardless of whether anyone is watching or not. I just estimated the amount I spent on blogging because I'm beginning to put some amount of investment into equipment just to up the game on my channel. I'm really working to take my channel to the next level, but you really don't need to spend that much on vlogging just to get the same benefit out of uh, vlogging. I didn't have all those stuff until recently, but I still got the benefits out of vlogging. So the next couple of investments that I'll be talking about, just focus on your mind and your body. The first four are basically ones that focus on your personal development. The investments I'm talking about are the types that you hear about more often. And that's because those are the investments that yield tangible results. Investing your mind and body is something that you need to do if you want to make the most of your life. Here is exactly what I do. The fifth investment is making time to exercise. This is a time investment. I strongly believe that making time to exercise as opposed to finding time to exercise is one of the best investments that you can make in yourself. Over the years, I've noticed that making time to exercise is one of my strong foundations. Every single area of my life benefits from it. I'm noticeably in a good mood. I work better. I write better. I am more productive. I stick to my plans and I eat healthier. Everything seems to run fairly smoothly. And when I'm not making time to exercise, I feel scattered and restless. I get frustrated more easily. I don't stick to my plans and I make bad decisions. So exercise is my foundation thing and I have to make time to do it. Number six is gym membership and this cost me about $50 plus time investment. So there are a couple of ways I exercise. At the moment, anyway, I like to change it up every now and then or every other month. I am doing a combination of resistance and low intensity 30 state exercises, i.e. running uh, high intensity aerobics and spinning. I also do Bikram yoga, which I'll be talking about very soon. I probably go to the gym about three to four times in a week. So I invest in myself by spending about $50 in a month in membership at the local gym. I know I could probably do some of these exercises outside and save some amount of money, but I'm a gym person and sometimes the weather sucks. So you are better off being indoors than outdoors. Number seven, I invest in a workout app called Beasley. This is about $20 a month. As I mentioned earlier, I'm taking my health seriously. So I'm investing in a science-based workout app that will at least guide me through my workouts and also push me whilst I'm working out. And a few weeks ago, I decided to use this Beasley app because I've had reviews about it just to do just that. Yeah, I already have a, a gym membership, so I really might not have needed this app and I could have saved on that front. But this app comes with a, a dynamic workout flow and also some videos that will work me through some of the workouts and also show me some new workouts that I can try out in the house without having to go to the gyms on days where maybe going to the gym might not be possible. Or I might need to put in a few minutes here and there before I get to work. And possibly before I go to bed at night, I can put in 10, 20, 30 minutes workouts without having to drive all the way to the gym. So it's an investment that I'm willing to at least make for the convenience. Number eight is a Bikram Yoga 
membership and this costs about $20 a month plus some amount of time investment. I always think about Bikram Yoga membership more about an investment in my mind than just my body. When I practice yoga regularly, possibly a couple of times a week, I realize I feel more grounded throughout the week. I know this membership is expensive, but for somebody working full time with multiple side gigs, uh, I know how beneficial this uh, investment is for me mentally, and I'm more happy to pay that money just to get the benefits out of it. When I was an exchange student, I was doing yoga more regularly without pain. Instead, I cleaned the yoga class after the sessions for an hour or two during the week, so I get the benefits of unlimited classes throughout the month. It is possible to invest in yourself if you don't have money, as long as you get creative about how you do it. Number nine is investing in my bedroom, decoration, and also my white desk. This cost about 250 over the last one year. So this is a bit different from the others, I know. And I'm aware it might seem superficial, but I believe investing in beautiful things in my bedroom and my white desk improves my mood, which also helps throughout the day. And helps with my sleep. When I'm in a beautiful, clean, white space, I always feel more productive and more put together. And I cannot concentrate in a mess or if there's nothing pretty for my eyes to feast on whilst I'm working. <laughs> so as superficial as it may seem, I invest in myself by investing in my surroundings. Number 10 is a five minute journal app. This costs about $7 with plus some time. Basically, the five journal app is exactly what it sounds like. A journal that takes five minutes to complete. A few minutes in the morning and a few minutes at night. And I notice that when I do it more regularly, I feel more productive. I'm more focused and I'm more grateful for the things I have in my life. I like to talk about this five minute journal app to almost everybody who will listen because it's one of my favorite personal development tools. My advice to you will be to find ways to take your life to the next level. Four years ago, I found myself in a vicious cycle of procrastination and guilt. Whenever I try to do simple tasks like going to the gym, waking up early, planning my life, it's like I'm trying to move a mountain. After work, I was so exhausted to do anything beyond just eating my favorite food and lying in bed to watch the next episode of my favorite show. I kept telling myself I deserve a break, but I never enjoyed it. I felt guilt for wasting my time, but I didn't stop. And when I found myself time to do things, I always kept procrastinating. I felt I was behind everybody and letting everyone down. So I, I, I will procrastinate even more. No matter how many hours I kept reading motivational articles, I just couldn't make myself change. Even though I knew that was the one thing that possibly is stopping me from progressing. And I had all the advice right in front of me. And because this whole situation was frustrating, I knew I was better than that. Even though I didn't have the evidence to prove it. I dedicated myself to stop myself from sabotaging my own progress. After trying hundreds of different things, it finally clicked. And this year, I became more productive and more focused than I've ever been in my life. And I finally stopped feeling like I'm behind. Plus, it's easy to work out every day and it held, which I never thought would have been possible. And since everything I learned completely changed my life, I decided to put together the very best of it and share. If you got value out of this video, kindly hit the subscribe button so that you can see other videos that I post and join this community. And hit the like button so others can also find this video and learn from it as you have. And let me know in the comment section ways that you also invest in yourself or what you think of some of the investments that I put in myself. Thank you and see you in the next video.